What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Double G Gaming and this is the final four. We have arrived the final four guys of this greatest tournament ever in WWE 2K19. We start off with Kevin Owens and Zack Ryder. I will be commentating. I will not be participating. I'll be back when these guys make their entrances down the ring. And how do you guys like that? Uh, this arena? Pretty sick, right? I made it myself. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. This is for all the marbles here to advance to the finale. Kevin Owens taking on Sack Ryder. Oh shit. I wasn't mean I wasn't meaning to control anybody. My bad. And here we go. Sack Ryder got the early upper hand there because I uh, messed up there. Sorry about that, Kevin Owens. And Besides Kevin Owens, everybody that you're going to see here, I got their creations of community creations on the Xbox Live. Uh, Xbox Live community creation stuff. So if you guys want to check this out, I will uh, I will check, just because of I'm realizing this now, I will check who the creators are. I'll leave a link in the description of their names, and you guys can go check them out. If you're tuning in and this is your creation, uh, except for Kevin Owens because his was just I just put a shirt on him. but if, this, if you see your creations in this video or the next it's yours check the description and see if I gave you some credit so here we go Sack Ryder can he come all the way from a jobber he was gonna be in the jobber bracket but I moved him over he participated in the 2010s era took out Sin Cara, Sting, Cesaro, John Cena and Carl Anderson Kevin Owens took out Shane McMahon, Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Batista. So these guys both, I believe, beat, a, beat some guys that, okay, you, you deserve to be here. You deserve to make it this far. In real life, would you think these guys are that great? Um, probably not. But this is not greatest tournament ever in WWE history. This is WWE 2K19 history. So there's only one 2K19 game, so... Technically, this is it. Can they be the best in it? And at the end of the tournament, they will be getting, receiving a championship that I did create myself as well. So, stay tuned for that. That will be in the next video, the finale. Right now, we're only worried about semifinals. Look at that snapmare by Zack Ryder. And, yeah, if you, if you want me to download this, or if you want to download this arena, let me know. I, I'll upload it to Community Creations, and then I'll give you my my gamer tag and how you can find it if you guys are interested in that and also the championship I'll upload it if you guys want to want that as well so we got some uh, some referee we got the referee in here looking all spiffy because this is pretty important if I do say so myself I'm really impressed with, by how this tournament has turned out now could there be better superstars in this final four sure but this is still a tournament that it took me since December 19th was when I announced it on my channel 
and probably like December 15th was, was when I thought of it. So it's been a month in the making of this tournament coming to a conclusion. Oh, Sack Ryder with a power bomb there. Sit down, power bomb. Now going to the top rope. Can he be going for the L, bro? Oh no, he's calling KO to get up. And slap. Oh, he gets out of the way. Kevin Owens thinking on his feet. And you, you guys know how I said that I was going to have damage or attention on. Well, my file save got corrupted somehow. And I couldn't do it that way. So this is just like on regular play, play now mode. A regular one-on-one -on -one match. So this is going to be a, a difficult... Or not difficult because I'm not playing. But harder for these guys to finish off each other because they have full health once again sack rider into the corner 2KO a stomp here uh oh Kevin Owens is not gonna like the sight of this big broski boot into the corner sack rider uh oh he's put away many of men with this move and he lands it the rough rider Everybody hold your breath, hold on. No! I always say that when I'm playing a Sag Rider match and he doesn't get the pin right away. But this is exciting, man. Like, can Sag Rider go all the way to the final of a tournament? Not just this tournament, but a tournament in the history of the tournaments. Uh-oh. Sag Rider not looking good for him. Drops him on his neck. Goes for the cover. Two... Kicks out. Sack Rider still has a fight in him. And Kevin Owens can't believe it. Remember the winner of this match will be taking on. Oh, hold on. Set up for the pop-up powerbomb. Sack Rider says not today. I've come too far. Flips him over for the walls of Jericho. Kevin Owens crawling towards the ropes and he makes it. Sack Rider with the... Giving Kevin Owens a taste of what he used to feel back in the day with his rivalry with Jericho. Put him in the walls there. Uh oh, is Jer Oh, now Kevin Owens puts him in the walls. Can you believe this? Turned about fair play, I guess. Sack Rider gets out of it, though. Flips Kevin Owens over. The winner of this match, remember, will be taking on the winner of Johnny Gargano, Johnny Gargano and Steve Austin in the match next. And another Broski boot coming here. We're seeing... The biggest upset in sports entertainment history. Sack Ryder dragging KO into the middle of the ring. The Referee down the count. And again, Kevin Owens kicks out. Sack Ryder, come on, man. You got to stay in it. Rough Rider time. I don't believe he beat John Cena or Carl Anderson with this move. I think he, he had to do the 450 splash or the elbow drop. Two, not again. Kevin Owens kicked out. There's a reason why he made it this far as well. Sack Ryder here pumping up the crowd. Woo, woo, woo. You know it, bro. Come on. Let's see what happens. Sack Ryder into the corner. And comeback move, I believe. Gets out of the way. Hits him with the knees. Up you go. And down you go with the drop kick. Zack Ryder, big forearm there. And once again, oh no, did Kevin Owens reverse it? He reversed his whole entire momentum. Now Kevin Owens is back on top on offense. Big shoulder block. Takes a sack down. Going for a cover. That's a little disrespectful there, don't you think, Kevy KO? You got to do a little bit more damage. At least. What is KO thinking? Frog Splash here from the top. And bam! Delivers it. Bullfrog Splash. KO here. Feeling the effects of this match already. You gotta stay in there, brother. To advance. To be the greatest ever. No. <laughs> Sack Rider again reverses the pop-up powerbomb. Puts him in the walls, but KO in the ropes there. These guys haven't gone to the outside all match. Sack Rider not to the top rope. What is he going? 450 splash. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. Ryder going to the next round. Yes, he does it. Oh my God. 
you son of a bitch. Sag Ryder can't. Oh my god, he can't be beat in this tournament. We'll check out some highlights here. And he's gonna take on either Steve Austin or Johnny Gargano. Can you? Would you have believed this if I would have told you how much? If I would have told you, bet your house that Sag Ryder is going to advance to the finals. Let alone the quarterfinals, even the quarterfinals. If I would have told you that, you would have you would have not put down a single penny on that bet that Sack Ryder was going to advance this far, and he's made it all the way to the finals. He'll be taking on either Steve Austin or Johnny Gargano, like I said, and that match is coming up next. Stone Cold Steve Austin thought he was going to get his first licks on Johnny Gargano, but gives him an insecurity there for his trouble. And Dragon Screw takedown by Steve Austin. Now, just listening to Steve Austin's theme song actually got me so freaking pumped for this match. I don't know what it is. It was just his, like, the glass breaking and then down on, down on, down on. Sorry about that. That was terrible. Big clothesline there. Taking down Johnny Gargano early here in the match. Let's see who is going to go on to take on Sack Ryder in the final here of the greatest tournament ever in WWE 2K19. We'll see who the best is here. And the winner will be getting a custom championship. Uh, now, I am sorry because the title it does have the same exact look as the current championship. But forgive me for that. Uh, I just want to get a quick one out. I didn't really, I didn't really know how to make it, but I, I'm glad with how it came out. But still, I wasn't really sure how to make it. So I just went ahead with a simple design. Went ahead and used the current WWE Championship as a template for the one that I made. So yeah, they're gonna get a custom championship. Steve Austin here wrenching the neck of. Johnny Gargano. Next year, hopefully, Tommaso Ciampa's in the in the game. Maybe we can get a Tommaso Ciampa Johnny Gargano finale, or even a match in general. Can you believe that Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa are still in NXT? Their talents are being wasted right now, but they are delivering some good.
quality content, so I mean they're still being used for something. Jordan Gargano takes out Steve Austin there. Now, if for example back in 2010, let's say 2012, if it was Daniel Bryan versus Steve Austin, I would tell you Steve Austin is by far one of the biggest superstars, and he should not be in the ring with Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is, you know, a tier below Steve Austin. Not knowing what Daniel Bryan would turn into with the whole Yes movement and stuff. That's kind of how I feel with Johnny Gargano. Like, Johnny Gargano probably has that same potential, but right now I feel like Johnny Gargano is just a tier below Steve Austin in terms of stardom and, and being a top superstar. Johnny Gargano is almost there, but I just don't see it yet. You know what I mean? He's looking to prove everybody wrong, though, by defeating Steve Austin. Stone Cold being eliminated out of this tournament and advancing in the take on Zack Ryder. That should be a a walk in the park for Johnny Gargano. Let's run down some of these guys' opponents from previous rounds. Steve Austin took out guys like The Rock, Mr. McMahon, Razor Ramon, and who did he beat to get here in the last round? He defeated Chad Gable. That wasn't even a no, a no that was a no contest. Chad Gable should have just packed his bag, said I forfeit. Johnny Gargano took on guys like Montez Ford, Cassius Ono, Adam Cole, and forgive me, I'm forgetting because I didn't really do my research. And the first stunner of the night. Is that going to do it for Johnny Gargano in this tournament? One, two, if Chad Gable is going to kick out, you better kick out of a stunner, Johnny. There he will go. He does kick out. And his hopes st are still alive here. Who do you guys want to see advance to face Zack Ryder? Let me know in the comments right now. Leave a like if you want Steve Austin to win. Leave a comment if you want Johnny Gargano to lose. And subscribe if you want all of the above to happen. Oh! Reverse there. He thought he was going to give him a big maneuver there, but no. And then just back to the basics, dropping him on his lower back is Stone Cold on Gargano. And once again, here with a uh, headlock. Not wowing anybody, but look at, look at the size differential here of just Stone Cold's upper body and Johnny Gargano's face. <laughs> That's ridiculous to look at. Oh, going for a knee. He misses it, but delivers a punch nonetheless. And then Lutez Press. And a couple of strikes from the Rattlesnake onto Johnny Wrestling. Dragging him into the middle of the ring. No way this is going to be it, is it? No, it's not. My prediction is always correct. Oh, some sign language there for Mr. Gargano. Calling for another one. Johnny Gargano has not been in control of anything so far. This time he may, he might be coming back here though. He reverses that stunner. Nice cutter out of nowhere. The Johnny Cutter. Now kick there. He's flipping him over for his signature. Bam, slam. Thank you, bam, he says. Goes for the cover. This can't be it, is it? Stone Cold kick out. He does. This match continues. Now, if these are the quality of matches that we're seeing from these last four competitors kicking out of everything, can you imagine the finale? Don't tell me he's going to tap out, though. Stone Cold in the Gargano submission hold. But he gets out of there. Austin. Enough in him. Oh, I thought he was going for a stunner again. No. DDT, but he gets up right away. Kick to the gut. Now flips over and bam, slam. No, <laughs> he gives him a neck breaker. Gargano, setting it up here. Stone Cold has taken the super kick before, but not like this. Not while on his knees, probably. Come on, ref. Get down there. Gargano advancing to the next round. No. At the last second, Stone Cold kicks out. Gargano feeling what a sequence that was. 
Austin with a move and with a DDT. Gargano getting right up, right back up, hitting the neck breaker, then his super kick into the corner, trying to slobber him behind there. Was that another stunner? Oh, onto the ropes. Gives him a taste of his own medicine with that stun gun. European uppercut. Stone cold here. What is he thinking? Throws him to the outside. Trying to get a breather here, maybe. The referee is going to start the count at one there, but Stone Cold is going to meet him out there. What is he thinking? This match has turned into a classic now. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Referee count of four, but they get both get back in. A couple of right hands from the Rattlesnake. Oh! Falls down to his knees. His knees. <laughs> turn into the Cesaro. Turn, turn into Cesaro with his lisp for a second. One giant clothesline in the corner is going to be it. Not at all. Look at the crowd. Standing ovation here. A lot of kids in the crowd here. They probably don't want to see what Austin has for them if they look at his hands. Gives him a four finger discount. If you catch my drift. Referee's trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. Stunner. Again reversed. Austin needs to hit one more stunner, I believe. And he got this in the bag. Pile driver coming. Oh, no. Bam. Austin with the stunner. With the pile driver, sorry. And Gargano's out of it. That pile driver used to kill most men back in the 90s. Until they banned it. Because guys like Johnny Gargano couldn't take it. But he takes it there. Austin doesn't go for a cover and again with the headlock. Making Johnny Gargano suck at his titty. Pause on that. Oh, once again, Johnny Gargano gets right back up. And Austin makes sure he gets right back down. Now, this match has been more back and forth than the Ryder and Kevin Owens match. So, you would want to see what's going to happen in that Ryder match. Is Zack Ryder going to take advantage like he has been on his last couple... Excuse me, on his last couple opponents. Johnny Gargano with the submission hold, but... Austin is too close to the ropes, his feet stretch him there, and he gets the rope break. But now going for the cover, that usually takes them out. No, Johnny Gargano get to win like that? That was anticlimactic, if you ask me. Oh, come on, Stone Cold. If you would have hit another one more, that's like a roll-up victory in real WWE when that happens. It just takes the whole match and it crumbles it and you're like, what the hell just did I just see? It was a great match leading up to that point. He put him in the submission hold and then he just goes for the pin and gets the win. Kind of ridiculous, but whatever. The ending sequence not as exciting as the rest of the match, but we still got a semi-classic. Four stars, I'll give it. And I think my buddy Dave Meltzer would agree. Johnny Gargano will be taking on Zack Ryder in the next video, in the final round, in the final round, in the final round of the greatest tournament ever in WWE 2K19, so come back and check that out.